New York Fashion Week is the most awaited event of the year in the fashion industry, and I've decided to make my way into it. In an industry full of fast fashion, exploitation, and elitism, imagine a space where everyone feels welcome to participate. NTA New York Fashion Week is back for year two. I'm here to show you the whole process, full transparency, behind running your own event and everything it takes to get there. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's get into it. I also just officially confirmed my New York Fashion Week venue, which I'm so excited about. I got denied for three different venues already, which had never happened to me before. So I'm excited to find one. And I think it's so cute and actually better than all the other ones that I had found. The only thing is it is in Brooklyn and not in Manhattan, but it's in Dumbo. So it's not like deep into Brooklyn. It's like the more accessible area of Brooklyn from Manhattan. So I'm not terribly worried about it, but Brooklyn just had a lot better options. You get a lot more for your money. And I just feel like it fits the sustainability vibe a little bit more like the space that I found has a lot of greenery and it's just really beautiful. So I'm really excited. I officially have that set. So now I feel like another weight has been lifted off my shoulders as I like prepare and actually get started on New York Fashion Week. It is currently August 15th. I just woke up, clearly. I am currently going through all of the model submissions and organizing it so that our designers can kind of go through it a lot easier. I haven't fully like done a whole, whole model search. I've posted it a few times on my Instagram stories and I've like lightly said it on TikTok, but I haven't had like a video go crazy viral like I did last year with it all. But even just at that, I've been able to get like, I think 23 submissions so far. So if we can manage with just those submissions and not have to go for any more then like, I'm gonna go for it. It's really fun to see some like obviously familiar faces of models I've worked with in the past already that wanna work with us again, which is really nice and obviously like says a lot about our working environment and that they enjoyed working with us last year and stuff. So very grateful for that. That makes me really happy. I am gonna continue to just go through all of this and hope for the best. Let's hope this doesn't take too long. All right, it is August 24th and we are preparing for New York Fashion Week still. I wanted to give you guys some updates on what we've gotten done, what we're still in the process of, and what it's looking like behind the scenes because I know a lot of you really love the behind the scenes. And I feel like I love it too. I just feel like it's kind of boring to film because so much of it is just me sitting at my computer. So I'm like, I don't know how entertaining I can make this video, but I will show you what my setup is looking like. First things first, whenever I'm working on my desktop, I always have two like things set up so I can do double the work. I feel like it's so helpful to have a desktop that's this big and I can like do this much at once. So today we just finalized all of our models. So this is the whole spreadsheet of models that submitted to be in the event, but the ones that are highlighted here in yellow are the ones that we ended up going with. So I have over here um, the brand that's gonna be using them, obviously their name, their email, and then their measurements and pictures. This is stuff that they sent into us. So here we have Metavocus's models are the top two. Then we've got Noemi, then these are mine. Then these are Rosina's for spilt milk. These are Veronica's and these are vendettas. So those are all of our models so far. If you guys have watched my process videos for other shows that I've done and stuff, you know that there's always models that drop last minute. It's happened at every event I've ever done. But as of right now, they all seem reliable. So I'm really hoping that pulls through. A lot of them seem to be very excited about doing it. I believe a couple of them or maybe one of them we've used prior. Yeah, one of them we did a show with last year. One of them is actually a customer of mine, which I love. So I reached out to her about it and everybody else just seems very easy. We have two models per designer and there are seven of us. So there's 14 models total, which is roughly, I guess, the same amount we had last year, except we're not sharing any of them. So everybody's going to have their own, which I'm really excited about. So then everybody can do their own hair and makeup, which speaking of yesterday, I put on my stories, this little call out to see if there's any makeup artists or hairstyles that want to work with me. And that story had the most views I've ever gotten on stories in a while. It had like 4,000 views, which is a lot for stories and it's still up. So it's still getting more. So I got quite a few replies to that one. And I've started booking some makeup artists and photographers or at least starting to talk to some of them. I don't have them all fully, fully booked, but this is kind of um, the setup for that. So I always have an overarching New York Fashion Week document that has everything. So like in the overview, I don't want to actually show you, but my overview has all of like the money related things. The guest list is everybody that is getting in without having to buy a ticket. So collaborators, designers, um, some of our guests, 
helping hands models photographers and I have them all here so that I can check how many that is so right now we're at 53 people so I always have to factor that in to the max capacity and how many tickets I'm able to sell so I always keep this running list so I can make sure and then this is how we check people in the day of who obviously don't have tickets and then down here I've had like this is where all the model responses were initially the designer responses and here's a list of sponsors and people I've reached out to or maybe want to reach out to but uh haven't gotten a lot out of that. So yeah, we're like two weeks out at this point and this is where we're at with everything. I just sent an update to all of the designers. I email them all the time to just give them updates on everything, to keep them obviously posted on everything that's going on behind the scenes. And we're doing a little poster boards for each one of us because I obviously want each brand to have like their little moment to shine and for people to be able to kind of like look more into them and all of that. So I sent all the designers a mock-up of what mine's looking like so they can send me info so I can make theirs. So basically we're gonna have like our logo here here, description, a headshot picture of them so then people know who to approach when they want to be like, oh, I love those pieces. And then I want to have process pictures here so people can kind of see like the behind the scenes of making it and then obviously all the social links down here. So that's kind of going to be the poster vibe. So I just sent them an email to give me all that info so I can get those put together and then get those ordered. I want them to be like foam poster boards. So that is the latest of what we've been doing. Other than that, it's just been a whole lot of emails back and forth because that is how most event planning goes, but I'm really excited about it and I feel like we're finally getting to the point where it's coming together and I finally have like pretty much everybody that I need to be there is like kind of booked so now it's really just about getting guests to come which is always just a very last minute thing like it always ends up selling out like the week of or like a few days leading up to the event it's very hard to get ticket sales beforehand so it's been very slow as of right now but I know that it'll pick up soon so it's just a waiting game September 1st, it is crunch time. I feel like now that it's officially September, it's hitting that I'm actually doing this. I'm like, oh, it's in eight days. So today I have a meeting with the Sustainable Baddie Girlies to just like check in about where they are with things, where I'm at with things because we haven't like called since our initial call about me bringing them onto this. Obviously we've emailed back and forth about updates and stuff, but I was like, we should probably just like call to make sure we're like on the same page about things since it's next week. And yeah, so that's today in like an hour or so. But also I got more info for the poster boards so i need to finish those up i still need info from a couple of the designers so i need to like nag them to get it to me asap so i can order the poster boards and they like ship in time because obviously we have only a week left so that i need to finish up i do also have to rent out tables and garment racks i believe but i wanted to wait till i call with the sustainable baddie girls to see what they think about it of like how many i should get or which types <laughs> My mother's calling. Okay, my mom called me in the midst there and I've been working on the posters since, so I'll show you where I'm at with them. I need to upload a few more BTS pictures for myself or just rearrange these. I don't know if I took too many more, so I need to figure that out, but otherwise, mine's good. I need to just get a few more BTS pictures from Veronica. Metavocus is all good. Cool girl, I need all of her stuff. I just texted her to send it to me. Vendetta is all good. Spilt Milk also needs to send me stuff still. Noemi also needs to send me stuff still. I just texted her as well. And I just texted Maria from Blue Bone Jewelry to also send me stuff because I hadn't, I didn't have her in my original lineup. I don't know why. And I was like, oh shoot, I need to get her on there. So I just texted her to also send me stuff. But this is where we're at with it. Almost there. I think they're looking really good. My thought process is that we'll have like poster board, two models, poster board, two models, and kind of have them in some sort of line. So it feels kind of like a museum exhibition kind of thing. Or maybe it'll be like some sort of like circle or like on different sides, kind of depending on what we feel like once we get to the venue and what looks best but i thought it would be weird to just have the models with like no sort of like context so i wanted to have posters of everybody kind of like explaining who they are and also that way it has like a headshot of each of us so if somebody really likes say like vendetta's pieces they can go find emma and yana in the crowd and be like hey really love your pieces like they look beautiful and that way they're not like questioning who the designer is or like wondering who they can go up to to like congratulate them or whatever so that was kind of the thought process there and and I think it's looking really good. I'm really excited about it. Also, everybody's like BTS is looking really cool. I think once again, it really is gonna be like a very cool mod podge of like different designs and different aesthetics.
aesthetics, which is always what I really want to go for. Obviously, I think everybody is different in their own way regardless. And like, even if you have similar aesthetics, it's going to turn out different. But I love when it all comes together and you like really see everybody's personality shine through and it's just going to be really cool. So I'm excited. I have a call with the sustainable batty girls in a little bit. I thought it was at 9 a.m. It's actually at 10. So I still have a good 45 minutes or so. I'm going to kind of just do some tweaks on here and then I will check in with you guys after the call probably. Hi. Hi, back again. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. I can't believe it's September already. September 1st. You're Wild. Me. This has moved so quickly. Right? How's it going on your end with everything? It's good. I'm like finishing up my collection. The designers seem to all be pretty good finishing up their stuff. I'm making like poster boards of every designer and stuff. So that's almost done. Thank you. Um, How are you doing that? I'm doing it. Well, I'm gonna get them ordered on Vistaprint is what I usually do, but I'm just doing like a quick little like bio headshot, some like process pictures and then like social media handles and stuff like that. Cause I'm thinking of doing, since it's an exhibition and they're not gonna be like runway walking necessarily, I'm thinking like easel with poster next to like models of each designer. Okay. So that oh, there's okay. like correlation of like, oh, this designer designed these and they're not just like standing there with like zero context. Gallery. Yeah, kind of like art gallery vibe. So it'll be just like a small little something, but figured that that would probably much, be helpful. How much would that be? Cause I'm like, I'm kind of, we were just discussing, I was like, oh, I might need a sign for SP's table. Yes. I hadn't thought about that yet. Okay, so the call just ended and we've got some things figured out. So they're also gonna be making a poster that they're gonna send me to then like order them all together. And then they did get some fun like sponsored things. I think we're gonna do a like sponsored giveaway with a bunch of little like goodies that they were able to get from different brands and stuff. They've got their like booth set up figured out. They're gonna do like a little content thing going there. And we haven't been able to get a drink sponsor, which like it really is hard to get one, especially when it's like something like New York Fashion Week where there's so many brands holding so many events and every drink brand is probably being reached out to right now. So their usual like sponsors that they go to that they've worked with before were already at max capacity for what they were able to give for this like week, month, whatever. But we were able to get some discounts for some of them. So we're gonna see if those discounts are like worth it to just like buy it ourselves or if we're just, like, just gonna go like a cheaper drink route. Cause some of like the fancier drink brands, I don't wanna like name names, but like some of them are more expensive. So we're gonna try to see if like that would the discount is still cheaper than like getting just like, I don't know, something a little more regular and less trendy. But we're still gonna have drinks for our guests regardless. We're not gonna leave them without anything. So I, we just need to figure out what we wanna get and then I'll order everything. And yeah, we're gonna get the or posters hopefully ordered like today, tomorrow. I just need a couple of the designers to send me all their stuff still for them. Otherwise, it's all set to go. We're at 37 tickets right now. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but I feel like that's a pretty good place to be for right now. We're aiming towards like 150 tickets, if not more. Since it is gonna be an event where people can come in and out a bit, we can kind of oversell the max capacity a bit, but our goal is 150 just to like start with. So I'm hoping by the next week or so, it'll pick up a lot more, which it's picked up a lot in the last two days. I think like majority of the sales have literally come in from the past two days. So I'm expecting it to keep going up as soon as we keep sharing the link, because every time I share the link, we get another ticket sale. So I'm excited. They've got more content coming up soon. They're gonna be creating content at the event to have a little like content booth, which I'm really excited about. And yeah, I think it's just gonna be so good. So excited. Can't believe it's literally already September, but I'm gonna get to work on some other things and maybe I'll have an update for you guys later. We'll see. I feel like this logistics episode is so all over the place because I just like sit down randomly to do things sometimes and you just never know when you need to get work done. So we'll see when you get the next update. Hello everybody. It's not as late as it probably looks. It's literally 7.30 p.m. It is Saturday, September 2nd, and we're getting down to the nitty gritty of all these logistics. So I finally figured out the event rentals. I need the company to obviously get back to me to make sure it's all good, but I sent in my request for everything that I want to rent from this company and it seems pretty good. There were a lot of different ones because the pricing was ridiculous for some of these. Even to, like for this one, like I get it, but it just ends up being so much. So that being said, I rented out 
nine easels because we'll have nine posters one for each of the designers including maria our jewelry designer and then one for the sustainable body girlies so that makes nine for them each one of those is 25 dollars so that's 225 dollars total for just easels which is ridiculous there's cheaper ones i could get on amazon that are like retractable and whatever and it would have been a lot less but since i don't live in new york i don't want to have to like carry those back and forth but if i was doing this in la i would have just bought them and then you know save them for future events but i don't want to lug around with that because again I'm going straight to London and Paris Fashion Week right after, so I don't want that to take up space in my suitcase and I don't want to have to like leave it at friends' places or ship it back. I just feel like that's too much of a hassle. So renting is fine. It's just annoying that it's expensive. And then I got four tables. They are five foot by 30 inches. So I'm going to put two designers per table. So we'll have eight. That all again includes Maria. And the tables were $14 each. Tell me why a table is less than an easel. I don't know, but that adds up to $56. Then I got four black tablecloths for each of those. Those were free. Thank God. And then I got some hangers. So I got 24 like pant hangers with the little clips on them. And then I got 48 normal hangers. I know that some of the girls are bringing their own hangers, but for those that don't, I wanna have some available just in case we don't have enough from like the Vendetta girls or cool girl who live in New York. So it's $1 per hanger. So in total, I got 24 dress pant ones and then 48 normal ones. So the subtotal for the rentals is $353, plus there's like a damage waiver, which is $24.71. Sales tax is 8.875%, so that's 33.52. And the total is 411.23 to rent out all these things. I feel like I don't tend to share prices of things too much because I sometimes feel weird about sharing how much I spend on things. Obviously it's all a business expense and it's all being like paid back or like made up for in ticket sales and stuff like that. But I feel like sharing that will hopefully help see that even through ticket sales. I feel like I know my tickets are expensive but it's not like I'm making a crazy amount off of it because everything is so expensive to even just host your own event. So there's always that fine line of like, do you make the tickets even more expensive so that that you can actually make a profit on it and like pay everybody under you or do you try to keep it a little bit more reasonable and then just have to like rely on people volunteering for your event and helping out out of the goodness of their heart because I would love nothing more than to be able to pay every single model every single makeup artist photographer person that like shows up to the event I would love to pay for but when things add up like this and I'm self-funding it like I don't have any sponsors that are paying for anything it's literally just me it's obviously impossible to be able to to pay for everybody i can barely pay myself at this point that being said it is something i love to do and i love new york fashion week and i would do it either way whether or not i like make money off of it because i just enjoy it and i think it's a really important event or time of the year to show up so i would do it regardless but i guess all i'm trying to say that it's not like a cash grab of any sort and there's so much that goes into it so i say this because i feel like whoever watches this might think of you know making their own event uh whether it be for fashion week or anything else and there's just a lot that goes into it that i did didn't know personally before going into the event world so sharing for those who also don't know much about this but that is the grand total i hope they get back to me soon to just confirm it otherwise i'm gonna have to find a different company but i feel like it should be just fine so just gonna wait on that i also went ahead and figured out my makeup and hair for my models which i'm really excited about so i'm gonna show you so for Rachel, I want, well, I'm doing the same kind of makeup for both of them. It kind of just like 90s inspired, pretty clean. Rachel's wearing a backless dress. So I want her to have like a high slicked back bun moment so that her back like has a little moment to shine. I'm doing some back jewelry for it. So I want that to have its moment. And then Akanksha is going to have the same kind of updo, but like messier. I like her natural curls. So I want that to shine through and same kind of just like 90s makeup. So that's what I'm thinking for my girls. I never do anything crazy for makeup. I always want to, but then I always just like love a good, clean, classic look. I can't get away from it. I think they're going to look so beautiful like this and I'm excited. So I've got that ready as well. As far as any more logistics, I think that we're basically done. I finished all the posters. I have only one more designer that needs to send me some stuff for it. The rest of them are fully, fully done. So I need to just get those ordered 
and yeah rentals hopefully they'll get back to me that everything is good the pier space is obviously fine and good all the models i sent them a mass email today to just give them like a recap of everything and i'm gonna make sure everybody responds to that and if they don't that's when you know that they're not gonna be showing up and that's when you need to book another model because so far all the models seem reliable but you never know and sometimes people drop last minute or things come up whatever so you can never be too sure but luckily i have a list of like a hundred some models that signed up for this event which is insane i like stopped checking once we solidify all, all of our models that we wanted but i still i haven't i forgot to like close the form and i've still been getting so many every single day and i think it's up to like 120 something submissions which is crazy but also so good just in case we have people drop i do have other people i could reach out to so i'm not terribly worried about that but i'm really hoping everybody pulls through this year last year i think we had like four or five models drop and it was like a crazy chaotic moment it all worked out but it was chaos to say please that being said i will check in with you guys probably tomorrow but for now things are looking good Alrighty guys, it is the last day of all these roundups. It is September 4th, so now we're kind of on real time because I'm planning on posting this tomorrow. So you guys can really check in to see where we're at. So yesterday I finished up the posters and got them ordered and I wanted to give you all the totals of everything so far just because I love to know the behind the scenes on things and I like the transparency of like how much it costs to do something, especially on the business side of things. So I wanted to give you a full rundown. Obviously I give you a full rundown down of all the rentals but i haven't given you like a rundown of the venue posters all the extras so that is what we're gonna do so first things first is always the venue that is the first thing i always go to just because they get booked up really really fast i actually wanted to get the same venue i had last year because i loved it the owner was wonderful and i just really enjoyed that space but it was already booked for that day when i went to book it in june so you really do have to book far in advance for this so that's why i think the video clip of the venue is like from so long ago it's from like a random vlog back in june when i just like mentioned it because i wasn't thinking about like recording my full like series yet but the venue ended up being three thousand three hundred thirty six dollars and forty cents to have it from 10 a.m to 6 p.m so we will be setting up from 10 to 2 the event is 2 to 5 and then we'll have an hour for cleanup rental pickup all the stuff and honestly i know it's a lot that's always the biggest chunk of it but for how expensive new york is it wasn't as bad this year we're doing it in brooklyn because all the manhattan venues were so much more than this one it was insane and a few of them had really weird specific rules about like caterers or not being able to have sponsored drinks which like we don't have any anyway but like if we wanted to we couldn't and then like certain minimums we had to spend on like the cash bar and just like there was a lot with so many of them and so many of them are also so small so you can't even fit that many people in it so i decided to just like stop trying to look in manhattan and i found this one in brooklyn which is in the dumbo area so it's like the closest to manhattan so it's really not that hard to get to and i love that area personally i think it's beautiful and it's a lot bigger a little bit cheaper and i just feel like it's a better vibe for us so that ended up being the total for the venue all of the rentals ended up being 596 dollars and 15 cents and all of the posters that i ordered the other day including express shipping because i am doing this very last minute was 234 dollars and eight cents making the grand total of expenses so far four thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars and sixty three cents I say so far because there's always very last minute things that I'm gonna have to buy. I can't think off the top of my head what that might be just yet. These are definitely the bulkiest things. If I buy any more things, it'll be like random small expenses, like, I don't know, like boob tape for like clothes or I don't know, lashes or whatever, things like that. And I will say my flight to New York, I used points for big sleigh. So technically I didn't really pay for it. I used credit card points. So technically that doesn't even have to be factored in because that is paid for. I'm staying with Yana and Emma in New York. York, so I'm also not paying for a hotel thank god because it is so expensive to stay in a hotel in New York even in Brooklyn it's also very expensive for these dates so I'm saving money there as well and then obviously all my food costs are gonna go into that I don't plan on going to like fancy places to eat or anything but for the most part my biggest expenses being like the flight and staying somewhere are like basically free slash covered really trying to ball on a budget here but even at that it is very expensive to do this but that is kind of where we're at with the breakdown of it as far as ticket sales it is monday and we are up to 52 now i do expect it to go up 
quite a bit by the end of the week just because that's how it was last year for New York Fashion Week. I think we sold out like the day before or the day of. People are very last minute with like deciding obviously which shows they want to go to and what events they want to do because there's so much going on in the city. So again, I don't think it's something to worry about just yet. The same thing happened with the LA show that I did back in April. I think most of the tickets sold literally that Friday. It was like literally zero, like it was nothing, nothing for weeks. And then out of nowhere, the last two days before the show, like we sold a lot. So that's kind of the energy I'm expecting right now. It has been going up slowly over the past few days, but I expect it to pick up a lot more this week. So that's where we're at there. And yeah, I think the rest of the logistics and all the things that we're going to figure out is going to be once we're already in New York, the day before the show or like right before the show, which I will be vlogging absolutely everything. I'm trying to break down the series so that it's like bit by bit rather than me going like day by day, if that makes sense. So like obviously doing this logistics episode, then I'm going to have one just of me making obviously my collection pieces, one of me making all the pop-up pieces. Then we're going to do all the pre event stuff in New York vlog and then obviously the vlog of the actual event itself and then I'm also like attending things for New York Fashion Week and Paris and London afterwards so I will also be vlogging all of that. I'm super excited. I leave on Thursday so in a couple of days and yeah I'm excited to be able to vlog it again this year and share it with you because I find it really interesting to see all the behind the scenes and I know that a lot of people always DM me saying that like they love seeing it as well so hopefully this is fun and entertaining for you as it is for me but but that being said, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next few episodes of the new Fashion Week series because it's going to be good. I'm really excited about it. And also follow on Instagram and TikTok if you want to see it more in real time because I post a whole lot more frequently on there. And I'll be posting on my personal Instagram more about like London and Paris and stuff. If you want to follow that, you can also check it out. And that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!